welcome welcome again to life with jennifer thank you for keep coming back to my channel before i get into today's video that we will be talking about election coming up in jamaica just want you to know why we as jamaican whether overseas or we are at home we love with jamaica listen to this Jamaica, run down, Akia, manish water. When you start eat that, tell it your ten finger. Can't find a country with a better culture. One, two, and three, that a Jackson. Gillian and Shelley, they will mention poor team of big legacy. I'll be a nice things done a female country. When the music hit you, you feel no pain. Who and Bob Marley and him still are We have Buju, Shoggy and Ayatian. You know, vibe to them, your head chip, you insane. The place is hot, but the music shut. How we run the world, you got to a wizard that pan the map. We are still the number one hot spot. One nation. Mm -hmm. That and that's a good me tell you why me love Jamaica. Run down, Akia, manish water. When you start eat that, you lick your ten finger. Can't find a country with a better culture. Yes, my viewers. We lick about we what? We talawa. We lick about we talawa. Yes, so. Welcome again to this channel Life with Jennifer in this video we'll be looking at the recent we have now know that Jamaica welcome, has qualified welcome to again the final to Life with Jennifer in the Women World Cup football game notwithstanding that after the win the captain came out and she had this to say. And it's been a, a kind of a game up on us. Um, we have to open, we have to go fund to get money to be here where yes. we are. We have been sacrificed so many to be here. So to be here now and moving on, it's just an incredible feeling. Man. Keep saying it. Keep saying it. Find a way, man. The people now they're gonna pick you up. Oh, you're not so great in that. Exactly. You don't have to do it. Put your rest. Yeah. I'm so pleased with you and the girls. I was there tonight, man. I was there tonight with Yui. Yeah, I was there, man. I just got back. I just got back. Just watching you do hashtag find our way. Find our way. That's what we do. <laughs> Take it easy, huh? Yeah, yeah. Good luck with the next one. Good luck, man. Find a way to do it. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. Big up. I'll so she came out and said they had to do GoFundMe in order to help them to get to the World Cup. But that did not go down well with Mr. Oral Tracy and Olivia Babsy Grange. They came out strongly um, denying the fact that the girls had to do GoFundMe. But here is a picture of the GoFundMe. So this is a picture of the, the GoFundMe viewers and subscribers. So I don't know who is talking the truth. So let's hear what the Minister of Culture and Women Affairs has to say. The right Honorable Olivia Babsy Grant. Listen to this. It's funding to over 40 sporting organizations of which the jamaica football federation gets the largest chunk and we have we actually give them three million dollars subvention monthly which works out to be 36 million dollars a year but in addition we give them funding towards uh, the competitions the international competitions and so on so we committed 20 million dollars to the reggae girls and of which 10 million goes to the federation and we decided we want to send the other 10 directly to the girls 
So we are providing them, in another couple of days, it will be in their accounts, 2,500 US dollars as a subvention to them, as a subsist for subsistence. Now, we also provide funding for the development of sports through Institute of Sports. We um, have our competitions in the parish, in the parishes, as well as um, regionally and then in, um, nationally. And those competitions are development projects. We do workshops and we do the competitions and we award prizes. But in addition to that, we provide a subvention for the young reggae girls in their development program as well. Now, the pie is small, as you know, in government, and we can only do so much. But we always rise to the occasion and we play our part in ensuring that they get funding. And if there's a crisis, we always find a way to do it. We always find a way to rise to the occasion. The girls talking about the GoFundMe um, that was set up is something that was set up by one of the girls' mothers, one of the players' mothers. And I understand when I spoke with Kadisha uh, this morning, she said that the funds were given directly to the girls, 1500 US dollars each, just to assist them in their their meals, they can call um, Uber, they can get things delivered to them, and just for their daily um, convenience. Um, but in terms of funds going to the girls directly, it has been through the JFM, through government, and I've fought a lot to ensure that they get the funds that will make a significant difference. Just and um, I, I, I really think that the impression that is given that they lack funding or support and that without that support they have gotten where they have reached where they have reached and they have achieved this success and this historic um, um, move is not quite so but I think the tension that may exist between the girls and the federation sort of creates that kind of environment where they would say something like that? Um, I think, you know, if um, outsiders looking in can see our team, we are always together. Um, we're one family. Uh, we feed off each other's energy, like I said. And, you know, it's when you have that chemistry and that relationship with, you know, your teammates, what does that mean if one of your teammates, if one of my teammates is out of position and I can, you know, cover for her, I'm going to do that. And like I said, that's just how we've been and we've always been that way. And, you know, we've always believed in ourselves and in our capabilities. Jamaica's a small island, but we can feel their support wherever we go in the world. And we, the other day we had um, a dinner where we met some people that are from Jamaica that live in Australia. So we know wherever we go, we have support. So it doesn't matter if they're on social media or if they're at the game, we still feel the support. Both grandparents were born in Jamaica and then they came over to England. So my mum and dad are both first generation English. Um, yeah, but even though my parents are born in England, I don't feel like I'm far from the culture. Um, obviously, I've learned a lot being around staff and the girls and obviously being in Jamaica. So I still feel that piece of home inside. Yeah. So my viewers and my subscribers, thank you for watching. You can leave your comments, so you feel about it. We you think is speaking the truth, and you can go over to Mr. Oral Tracy channel and hear what he have to say. He's saying something else, and but I just want to use this and say congratulations to the reggae girls for making it to the 16 teams left in the competition i wish them all the best if you have not yet subscribed to this channel continue to do so so when i upload a video or i go live you'll be the first to notify if you turn on that notification bell see you another see you again in another video bye